What are you going to do about Carillion? They say a problem shared is a problem halved. Why was the profit warning not a warning to you? And many of these cabinet ministers have the same problem. From transport to health, their departments have contracts with Carillion. But now that it's gone bust, the fact that this problem is shared only amplifies the government's headache. What are you going to do about Carillion? And fires allegations that they've left taxpayers exposed. The warnings have been there for a considerable period of time. Why wasn't the Chancellor intervening at that point in time? It looks as though the Treasury, the Chancellor and other ministers have but almost colluded with the company and drip feeding them more and more contracts, even though they knew the company was in trouble. Carillion had 450 government contracts. Eight of those were awarded after the company issued its first profit warning in July last year. They're worth £1.3 billion and included tenders to help build the new high-speed rail line HS2 and providing catering and hotel services for the Ministry of Defence. There are two arguments here. One is if the government just announced, right, that's it, we're not giving any more contracts to Carillion, that could itself have simply provoked the receivership and administration that everyone wanted to avoid. Secondly, arbitrarily uh, excluding one company from the bidding for contracts uh, could actually be illegal under EU law. The government is now facing a multitude of questions over what happens to Carillion's public contracts, how much is the liquidation going to cost the taxpayer? And of course, unions want to know how many of the company's 20,000 jobs are at risk. The Chancellor has issued a line of credit to Carillion's receivers that enables them to operate the company's public sector contracts. A list of the organisation's various subsidiaries posted outside its head office in Wolverhampton illustrates the scale of this commitment. Taxpayers will foot a multi-million pound bill to continue paying company staff in public sector jobs. It is regrettable what has happened at Carillion. That's why we're making sure that those people employed by Carillion have the support from job centres. And that's why our number one priority is making sure we continue to supply those public services. Labour sees this as a tipping point and wants all the contracts brought into public ownership and the directors' bonuses given back. Workers being made redundant at 48 hours' notice and less, in some cases, the directors for all the bonuses they've had, should pay them back. And the salaries that they're still being paid out? They should not be paid anything at the present time. Good morning, Mrs. Lesson. Did you discuss Carillion? For this government, it's not just that jobs and public services are at risk. This has given Labour a stick to hit the government with over privatisation for a long time to come. Jason Farrell, Sky News.